go back to the start of the season, first of all, and there's obviously a lot of um, positivity ar around the group, but did you ever think that you'd, you'd make that final? I want to say yeah. I'm gonna back us. I think I think we do always have like belief. Like when we go into everything, even like previous seasons, we've always had like we've got the skills. Like we can do it. Like we are we are a very positive team. Um, obviously, last year was a bit harder because we had like the top games. We were like losing like the last five ten minutes. But I think because we had this massive influx of amazing players this year, like we did have that belief that we could go on and um, achieve what what we have this season. Yeah, and I think obviously the. The way our season started, um, Exeter away, first up, like, great result down there with a very, very changed team from what we're playing with now. If you look at the two team sheets, obviously none of the internationals back from World Cup, very different team. And um, Sarri similarly, like, went down there and, and beat them quite convincingly, which was amazing to start the season for us. Um, again, obviously they didn't have a lot of people playing, but you just got to play what's in front of you. And to have those games and almost that spurred us on, that made us realise like, that we can, we have got this and we can do it. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I think it was a try within the first two minutes, uh, Exeter away in the first game of the season. And just from there, it's just seemed to get better and better, hasn't it? So. No, it really has. Like, um, it's just awesome. Like, the girls here are class. The energy, whether we're in the gym, whether we're on the pitch, whether we're just sat on the benches, like, chatting and stuff like that. Like, the energy around the group is awesome. Um, obviously, it's a class that we've got ourselves there. When, you, when you're so consistent all season, you want to give yourself a shot at the, at the final and at lifting that cup, and, and that's where we are. But we know that there's a lot of work to be done before that. I think Zoe said it last week that we're going to work bloody hard until then, <laughs> and that's what we've been doing, and we just hope that we can put everything out there on Saturday. Yeah, as co-captains with this group, do you find it easy to sort of keep them motivated? Yeah, definitely. I think I think it comes from like within every single player. Like you look at them on the training pitch, and you're like, yes, they're putting their best in. Like you look around the circle on game day, and you can see everyone's heads like the focus. They're on task. So like the motivation is there. And like this weekend, there is no more motivation than trying to to win that final. So yeah, the team that we have, the, the motivation comes from within. And obviously the final being played at King's Home or, or Queen's Home, should I say. I've known that for a, for a few weeks now, so has that given you extra motivation to sort of make that final? Definitely. Like, I think we, we heard a bit a bit earlier than, than everyone else and obviously we were absolutely buzzing and we've had um, a few games there recently um, and the crowd has just grown and grown and like we can definitely always hear the, the sh people in the shed shouting very loud, which is always very... Very good when you're on the pitch and you're, you're 60 minutes in and you're blowing a bit. It gives you that extra little bit of oomph to go again. Yeah, 100% echo everything Zoe said. Like, we, it's a privilege to play there. It's awesome. And like Zoe said, the support has just gone from strength to strength and everyone's given us such lovely feedback and words and Gloucester supporters are like no other. So we're just hoping that they're out in full force on Saturday. Yeah, Mo, I know you said in your Tales From Home episode that you, you wanted to feel those shed heads and with a couple... Uh, record uh, crowd for a Premier 15s final. It's said to be a really big occasion, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's going to be epic. I think um, like the fans are like none other. Like The atmosphere that you get when you go and watch a Gloucester rugby game um, is very different from everything I've experienced across the league, and it's the same when we play. I think that's what we want. We don't want anyone to treat us any differently. Like We're playing the exact same sport, exact same laws, all of that stuff, so like bring it on, and, and we absolutely love it. We'll relish it, and we'll just do everything we can to get over the line. Yeah, as captains, is it about finding that balance between sort of channeling that emotion from what's obviously going to be a, a huge atmosphere, but also just trying to get that job done as well? Yeah, I think so. I think like yesterday we spoke a little bit, like there's so much excitement going on around it, but like let's try and contain it. Let's try and like keep our mind on the game until Saturday where we can then just like explode on the pitch and like let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. I think... Um... We, we're very good at letting that emotion drive us and that's what it is. It's a, it's a driving force. It's not something that's going to deter us. It's 30 people on the pitch, four white lines and a rugby ball. Like We know that. We know that inside out and having people that are going to be that extra bit and give us that extra lift when we're struggling to get off the floor or anything like that, we'll use that to our full advantage. And obviously Exeter, Exeter Chiefs as well. If you needed any more motivation, a West Country derby, obviously Exeter a good side as well, always a competitive game. So you've got to be switched on, don't you? 100%. I think um, they're probably one of the best attacking uh, sides in the league from what we've seen this season. Obviously, highest point score, like quickest ruck speed, all that sort of thing. So we know what we're coming up against. We know that we have to be defensively really on it. But when we've got the ball, we want to light it up. And, and that's what we're aiming to do on the weekend. 
Yeah, definitely. And I think it comes like down to that dominance as well. Obviously, we know they've got a big forwards pack, like as do we. Um, so I think it's about who can make those gain line carries, who has the best set piece, um, will will be a deciding factor. And I guess one thing we've seen throughout this year is is when uh, Gloucester Harper have been challenged, they stood up to those challenges and, and, and got that. So one more time this weekend and hopefully you two will have your hands on that trophy. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>